work on your relationships and networking to get yourself in the room. Yeah. It's so less about the technical, what camera do I use? It doesn't really matter if you don't have really cool rooms to be in. This is one of them. Yeah. assigned to interview an amazing uh, Navy SEAL. Shout out to Will Chesney. And so we are actually in a um, place called Trident Response Group, which is created by Navy SEALs for um, the world as far as security details and everything that goes in between that. So the cool thing about this space is there's already a lot of military yeah. and Navy we heavy uh, paraphernalia, but our challenges are always on location. What are we going to do? Mm -hmm. So number one, find time to scout a location. Yeah. When you scout, take your phone, take a camera, whatever it is, just so you get to see what the space is gonna look like between, behind the lens. Mm -hmm. Not just like, oh, this might be cool. You don't yeah. really know until you look. Yep. Lighting a space like this becomes extremely difficult yep. because there are so many factors going on, like windows, reflections, yep. and just access. So we have to get very creative with that. Yep. And I think Vinny did a fantastic job of bringing the vision of this space to life with how we ended up lighting everything. How can we bring our cameras in and capture what's already available? Whether that's lighting or the things around the building, we were able to kind of embrace it and, you know, like we always mention, the skills and the techniques that you practice, whether you're at home doing it, setting up lights, those can carry into any room and any environment. I got a great tip from a amazing filmmaker called, his name is Shane Hurlbutt, and he talked about getting tablecloths that are, I don't know, you can get a 12 count for like 15 bucks on Amazon. Get some, get some painter's tape so you don't rip paint off people's walls, and you buy a bunch of those, and we, we put like, maybe one, two, I don't know, maybe like eight or nine yeah. black tablecloths all around this, this area. Cause we had, we have a lot of light kind of coming from windows. Downstairs, we have a bunch of black neg all over the, the uh, front doors as well. So that was our base, is taking away some of the light to control. And then we bring on our own lights uh, to, you know, dial in whatever we want. We got two overhead Amaran F22s as a top down fill. We got a 600D Fresnel lens blasting to the ceiling on opposite side of camera to make sure we fill in that key. Um, we have Talk about the accent. We have a bunch of accent lighting. We we got tons of accent lights all around. Little lights like that are in the this helmet case over here. Um, we got um, tube lights on the ground fill up this wall. So like looking at the shot and seeing where we can build on it. And you know starting off with your base, taking away the lights with the neg, your key from overhead, your key with the 600, and then you start to add layers. And because we had the time, because we were prepared, we showed it, we scouted, we were able to do a pre-light we as well. Pre -light day. We did a pre-light day, which is always recommended when you guys are doing any kind of big set like this, is to come a day before, we did two days before, and we had a whole, literally a whole day, we weren't stressed to light and figure out how we were gonna tackle this, this environment. And so that gave us the ability and time to add these layers uh, on top of what we would have normally done on just showing up that same day. We have this tube light here filling up this wall a little bit because it was kind of lost in the shadows. We got a hundred Amaran 100X in a, a room over there blasting. There's no attachment on it. Just blasting it through a window. There's a like a window over there, but it has like a frost on it. So it kind of like breaks up the light a little bit and it literally looks like the sun is coming through, hitting the floor. It's beautiful and the door we close it just a little bit so we can get that nice little little um you know slash almost and we got a you know our, our patent uh, spotlight mount back there just crushing the back wall with a nice slash and those are our accent lights we were able to add the layers again because we had the time prepared you did a scout and so all those things really tie good. in to make a great looking image the key with how we lit this was number one seeing what your eyes wants to see and then we recreate it. Yep. We saw the skylight that was up here that's actually covered right now. Yep. The skylight was beautiful, but it's not very controlled mm. in the fact that it's the sun. The sun's gonna do whatever you want. 
Remember, we always said, don't get yeah. in a fight with the sun. Don't fight. Never going to win. Yeah. So what we did was we wanted to recreate what, what our eyes already saw mm -hmm. that looked really great. The, that artwork down the hall actually has spotlights in it that looks really awesome. Yeah. But again, it didn't play well. That practical didn't play well. Mm -hmm. with the, we couldn't control it. Yeah. So then we took that away and we added our light. Yeah. I think a lot of people think that we're just throwing lights on set mm -hmm. just to have more gear on set. It's not. It's what we saw but yeah. with our natural eyes that we loved. And then how do we recreate that in a controlled environment? That's Love what that. we're trying to do. And so we removed the skylight only to add the 600 because yeah. we wanted the skylight anyway. Yeah. So it's a lot easier in photos. You can take a photo and a still, and then that second, you got what you Perfect. want. Yeah. But in video, it's a totally different ballgame. As two, a, hour, as, yeah. two hour conversation? Yes. <laughs> as a photographer, I have to always understand and explain to others that want to get into cinema that if you're going to make that leap, it has so little to do with um, your camera, but yeah. it has so much to do with creating a lighting environment that you had the had the privilege of just seeing for a split second in a photo. Yeah. And so that's what we essentially are doing. And that's the challenge. Exactly. I think that's why it works so well um, in here because we enjoy what our eyes naturally already see. Yeah. And we just want to recreate that and make that last for like, like you said, two hours or so. That's the scene. Boom. That's the setup, y'all. Don't forget right. to like, comment, and subscribe. That's all you Enjoy, gotta do. Uh, we appreciate you guys watching the video. And Even if you don't like it, you should comment and, and subscribe. If, and if you feel like we didn't cover something, drop it in the comments. Let us know. Let us know. Let us know. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. See you on the next one. Peace. Peace.